All right, y'all. I am Albert LaBelle, and I am a lock junkie. No, seriously. I was just looking at them again on the internet. Um, I'm always looking at locks. Um, but yeah, uh, so this is another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. Um, we're going to do something uh, this time. Uh, everyone seems to be doing it, so I'm going to join the fun. Uh, pick a lock for Pete. I believe it's the uh, Irish lock picker. So Pete, this one's for you, bud. Um, I hope you get to feeling better. I hope everything works out for you. So pick a lock for Pete. Um, we're going to go ahead and run right through this. Uh, I believe it's called a Betox or Betox. And it's not a regular one. This one's the Super. So uh, all stainless steel, it seems like. 50 millimeter. Um, but I got to point out some things. Let me zoom in a little bit. Because it's almost comical. Well, not almost. It is comical. Uh, I'll just come up here. Uh, thanks. So it's got three pieces, brass keys, nickeled plated. Not nickel, but nickeled. Um, resist filling, not filing. Two L's. Filling, sawing, and prying. Resist corrosion. Breast cylinder, not brass. Breast. I don't know what breast is. It must be a new product. Uh, with bronze springs, will operate smoothly in all weather conditions. Armored with stainless steel. Make the lock body reinforced. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I'd call that armored. Um, this, I call armored. This, not so much. <laughs> so, anyways, let me get backed out again. And let's take a look at this thing. So, it is a disc detainer padlock. I figured since I just did on a previous video the uh, review of the silver bullet, so I figured we'd just run right through this thing real quick. Uh, pick a lock for Pete. Um, so, it does work fine. It is brand new. We'll lock it back up, and I'm going to slap it in right here. Um, I do want to point out something, too, real quick. I think you can see them in the back. I did get another stack of pack locks, the uh, pack lock 200 days with my logo. Um, I started giving these away, I think it was like August of 2019. And I'm going to try my very best to uh, do a full year. So at least till uh, August of uh, 2020. So I will try my best. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the Betox. Um, let me get all the disc rotato, just like that. Uh, grab my silver bullet here. And I think, can we see that all right from there? Let me see something here. Let's, uh, maybe we can come in a little bit and go like this. Is that all right? Yeah, we can see that all right. So, get the tension wrench in there. Grab that last disc, slide the tent or the uh, pick tip in there, nice and easy. All right, we got that last one. We got that last one. Okay, there we go, loose. Next disc, loose. Next one. Loose. Loose. It's almost too or too easy. That's an open. So take a lock for Pete. There you go, Pete. We picked the lock for you, buddy. Um, so come out nice and easy. Um, any disc detainer lock or uh, lock pick um, you use, don't don't yank it out of the lock. Just come out because once you got to remember, once you get it picked, the discs are all all out of whack. So you got to kind of uh, first lock the lock back up so you can rotate that last disc back, and then just kind of give it a little shimmy and bring it out. Uh, don't force the tool, especially one of these. I wouldn't want to force this thing. Uh, although it's guaranteed for life, by the way. Um, so I want to point something out real quick too. Uh, this tool here from Sparrows, um, while I'm glad they did it and they did a pretty good job, they did drop the ball in a major way. The tips are awful. Uh, mine already just, it just flopped right off the tip did. So I had to make my own and uh, I made one better than the original. It's a little bit long. I can cut that off. It doesn't really matter. But uh, it's much better. This is a one piece design. 
if you're running into that problem, and you probably will, uh, if you go on to Ally Express is where I got mine, you can order some of these, uh, I think they're called plastic mold ejector pins. Uh, I believe they're 1.5 millimeter. They fit beautifully in this tool. Beautifully. Perfectly. And, uh, I mean, a, a, a few minutes on a, a small bench grinder, and you can end up with a tip like this. So it starts off like this, and you end up with a tip like this. I even gave it a slight profile. But it's one piece. This is not going to twist off. I mean, you'd have to really, really try and break that to make it break. Because it's one, it's solid. So, anyways, I think uh, as much as I'm glad they made these, they really dropped the ball on those tips. And uh, I also had to trim mine back a little bit here to make it fit, fit past some of the spinners and some of the locks. But, anyways, like I said, if you're running into that problem, just order some of these uh, ejector pins and make your own tips. They fit perfect. Uh, so, that'll wrap it up. Uh, pick a lock for Pete. Um, That'll wrap up this episode of Stock Lock Sunday, and uh, stick around for uh, to see who gets this week's uh, pack lock. All right, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And as always, if you like this video, hit that like button. All right, thank you very much. Big Al, signing off.